Let's keep going where we left off. Six achievements left. And most of them... Snowblind, thank you for the sub. I'm doing all right. Pretty much all the achievements revolve around these two. Getting all the rare drops and getting all the enemies in the bestiary, which will happen once we get all the rare drops. And then everything else is insanely easy. Like, this requires a rare drop. This is just somewhere in the map. Uh, as we're farming, we're going to get uh, the familiar to level 50. And as we're farming, we'll get to level 60. So these are going to be the last. And we're level 55 right now. So those are our last achievements. And then it's done. Then it's done. Boop. Do I have dreams about Soten? Not really. Uh, last we left off, we were farming things sequentially in each area. I think we last left off. I guess we can just clean up the stuff here. We definitely got the Basilard from the bloody zombies. Did we get the axe drop, actually? I don't think we did. So let's go get the green axe armor drop. We'll get the spittlebone drop. And we'll go from there. Let me just real quick mana prison or luck potion, I mean. Do I have a terminus? No, that was Werebane. Okay. Is there a better spot to farm these green axe knights? Because what is their drops, actually? Let me get the drop table up. So, drop, calculator. Bronze Curus. And my luck is 159 with two Arcanas. So it's a 1 in 23 chance. Is this the best spot? I'm trying to think, where else are there green Axe Knights that are, like, close to a screen transition? I genuinely can't remember. Start a Marble Gallery. That one might actually be better, you're right. If that's the kit, yeah, that's actually better. So instead, we'll go do the Spittle Bones then. Because I want to clear everything out, like, sequentially. Basically go area by area. I feel like that's the easiest way to keep track of everything. I'm like 90% sure we've already gotten the skeleton drop. If not, whatever. Wait, Spittle Bones? I don't think they have a drop, right? Yeah, they don't. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Spittle Bones. They don't drop anything. Is that everything in the... Oh, Bronze Curious. Never mind. We don't have to worry about Green Axe Knights. I think that's everything in Alchemy Lab done. We've already done Bloody Zombies. We've already done Bone Scimitar. What up, Zach? Don't have to worry about Spittlebones. So I guess next up is Marble Gallery. Because we did Coliseum. We did Chapel. We did Castle Keep. I think so. those are all the three places we did last time. So we needed to go do the Marionettes. And get, I believe, Smart Potion as their drop. Do Slinger... Night Shield. I don't know if I got the Night Shield drop from them. Let me see. How many Night Shields do I have? Just... Oh, only 16. So I think I might have gotten the Night Shield drop. I don't think I have a Strength Potion. Let me grab it just in case. There's a Leather Shield. Okay. So we're looking for Smart Potion. Or is it circlet? Let's double check. Oh, it is circlet. Circlet is the rare drop. The uncommon drop is smart potion. Oh. Nice. Normal zombies? I'm fairly certain we already got the zombie drops. Because zombies... It's cloth tunic? I'm like 90% sure we already got that. We'll double check later, and they're easy enough to farm. Uh, I'm looking for a smart... Oops. Potion. Do I have one yet? I kind of want one, and this is like a very convenient spot for me to get one. 
There we go. Uh, did we farm Hammer? Or what's the guy's name? The guy in... Oh, Ghosts. I'm pretty sure Ghosts here in Forbidden have a drop as well. Plate Lord. Have we done Plate Lord? Neutron Bomb. I don't think we've done Plate Lord. They're in the Coliseum as well, right? Anti Venom. If you want to do AFK farming, this is like not a terrible spot if you had like infinite MP or something. Their uncommon drop is a $400 bag. It's a 1 in 58? Why is this so rare? What the heck? 1 in 58 at max luck? How's Ghost Bro doing? 28? Okay. Hope you guys like the sound effect. surprising how rare this is. We still need to get the Medusa shields, if I remember correctly. We haven't gotten either of them. sure these guys even drop anything we haven't seen their common drop yet which is supposed to be four hundred dollars At least this is a really good sound effect. Can you get out of the floor, please? There it is. Okay, we're good. And then this guy, Cthulhu. Bat Pentagram, one in 26. Just drop the Bat Pentagram for me, please. Nope. All right, we'll farm that guy in the second castle. It's way more efficient that way. I'm fairly certain we should go do Plate Lord, actually, because we definitely skipped that guy the first time. So let's go do that. Just to make sure that we're not skipping anything. And then we can... Is there anything else in the Marble Gallery? Yeah, we can go back to the Marble Gallery and finish up... Um, uh, the, the, the plants. The man-eating... Well, man-eating plants probably better to do in the library, actually. But we can do uh, Diplos. Slinger we already got I'm like fairly certain we got it If not, the drop is pretty common It's not that big of a deal Please notice me I noticed you, Shinta I hope that sustains you For the rest of your existence Where's Plate Lord? Plate Lord's on the other side. Yeah, Plate Lord's on the other side. Yeah, because we already did all these guys. I don't think we did Owl Knight, though. Did we? Owl Knight, we're looking for the metal. Should be very common, though. Oops.
Interesting. Oops. So we need the Plate Lord drop, and then we need the metal from the Owl Knights. I guess because they resist cut, it's like probably easier for me to do that. What the fuck was that? Cutlass. Okay. Well, that's their common drop. Which is not super useful for us. The metal's small, so I don't want to miss it. So I do want to be careful. Let's also do a uh, int potion here to increase our intelligence. Just swap it with the hammer, I guess. Because that will help as well. I forget what the gravekeepers drop. Yeah, three ticks. Versus, like, five. I feel like I'm getting a little unlucky because the Owl Knight, it's 1 in 14. So it should be quite common. Plate Lord, I'm fairly certain it's like 1 in 20 something. Maybe it's better if I just use Strength Potion instead to kill them faster. Where's my Strength Potion? Come on. Still a decent amount of hits. Is that a meal ticket? Oh my god, that's insanely rare. What the hell? So enemies that don't have a drop table, I think have a like super low chance to drop meal tickets. It's every enemy in the game that doesn't have a drop table, I think has like a like minuscule chance to drop uh, meal tickets. Mouse found it in the game's code when he was doing um, uh, the, the item randomization stuff, if I remember correctly. We're looking for Neutron Bomb, not Iron Ball. Neutron Bomb is also a one in 14. What the heck? I'm getting really unlucky here. So yeah, getting that meal ticket drop is like a once in a playthrough. If not, actually less than once in a playthrough. Okay, there's our metal. So now we just have to worry about the plate lord. Like, I think I've only ever seen that like a handful of times ever playing the game. But I also don't kill enemies like that very often. What achievement am I going for? I'm going for all six at once, essentially. All six achievements that are left basically revolve around me getting every item in the game. So I have to farm every enemy in the game to get their rare drop. And right now we're working on Plate Lord that just gave us the Neutron Bomb. Perfect. Oh god, yep. We're actually doing, we're making good time for this. This, uh, like, all rare drop speedrun usually takes, like, I don't know, anywhere from, like, 6 to 10 hours, depending on how lucky you get. But I feel like we've been getting relatively lucky in some aspects. Some aspects we're getting unlucky, but... 
Um, we have to finish up Marble Gallery, and then we finish up Outer Wall from there. And we should be good. Let's do that for extra experience on the familiar. No, this game does not have RNG manipulation at all for uh, item drops. The only way to RNG manip is to use save states and to just basically like trial and error your way. Uh, we haven't done Flea Man actually. Vanilla Flea Man. Is this the best room for them? Is this one? Probably, right? I can't think of. I don't think Second Castle has vanilla, just normal Flea Man running around. Anywhere. Well, there's our cheese. I'm pretty sure that's the rare drop, right? Yeah, Flea Man is cheese. We did ham and eggs on the Flea Rider, so Flea Armor is the last Flea enemy, and we haven't done Library yet. But we can do Library whenever we want. Uh, let's do the Ouija Tables. How do you, that's how you spell it? Okay. O-U-I-J-A. Luigi Table, we need the Morning Set, 1 in 14. Is it easy to just farm those two? Probably. That or the one next to the save might be easier. Did I buy a... Wait, do I stack a bunch of luck at least? I have max luck right now. The highest luck possible without, like, cheating. Essentially, is 159 with double arcana. And that's using every luck boost in the game. Whilst playing in luck mode. There's the morning set. We got that taken care of. Because your base luck cannot go higher than 99 without cheating. We've never even gone to the caverns in this playthrough. I forgot about that. We'll go to the caverns next then and do all the stuff in the caverns. Here we're looking for Diplo, the tart. Don't I? I don't think I have a tart. Yeah, okay. I probably don't have it then. Nice. Oh, dang. Thank you, uh, Cursed Game Breaker. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope Japan was uh, nice. If you were just visiting, if you normally live there. Am I reading that correctly? Regardless, welcome. We need the tart. I think this might be the fastest way. Because I think if I do all three of them, it just takes longer. Yeah, we did get its heart in the speed run that we were doing yesterday, not part of the all achievements run. You're right. What up, Fran? May I please have one tart? If you could be so kind. Well, that sounds cool, uh, Curse Game Breaker.
feel like we're getting a little unlucky. One in 17? Come on now. I've definitely killed more than 17, right? Surely if I kill exactly 17, I'm guaranteed to get it. That's how statistics works, right? Otherwise, it's not really a 1 in 17. I think I think these guys are bad at statistics. You've taken a math before? Are you sure you weren't talking about taking a meth? I get it mixed up. Sometimes I'm confused if it's a uh, math class or meth class. You know what I'm saying, fellas? Pentagram. That's the un uncommon drop. That's a 7%. This one's a 5.78 or 4. Well, just get them back to back. All right. The stone rose we'll worry about later. Time to go to the caverns. Not bad. Uh, so we got Spear Guard. Iron Cure Ass. There's Spear. I'm not sure about Bone Archer. Let me check. Bone Archer is Magic Missile. Okay, so we literally don't have to worry about Bone Archer now. And it's just Spear Guard. Ow. There's Iron Curus. Perfect. All right, who's next? Probably just miscellaneous uh, caverns. I do need to get every enemy in the bestiary, which does mean we gotta beat up the suck. Oh, it's pizza time? So true, actually. Let me just type in pizza, actually. They're both going to be about a 1 in 30. Okay. Pizza time. Uh, let's go beat this uh, stinky lady up. There we go. There's succubus added to the bestiary. So yeah, if you're if you're confused what we're doing, wait, why did my timer never start? Uh, let me add. Why did nobody mention it? We've been streaming this section for 23 minutes, so that becomes what is that? 40, 45. Let's just say 45. Go. I don't think I need the gold ring, but I'll grab it just in case. I mean, Ghost Bro was there for moral support. I do have to remember to get the other familiar cards as well. Did I grab Sword Bro? Uh, I grabbed Bat as well, so I'm missing Devil, which we're gonna get down here. Okay. Let me save the game in case I accidentally softlock myself here. Because I am going to go check. Uh... Or I have to go kill uh, Scylla. For funsies, I'll put on... Where's my Vardas? Wait, I don't have Vardas? Oh, that's the other playthrough. Shit. Well, never mind. But yeah, I do need to make sure that I get every single boss and enemy into the bestiary, as well as get their rare drop. We got Scylla Worm, we got Scylla. I'm gonna wait for this. I don't believe Crystal Cloak helps us with anything. No soft lock, we're good. So we have frogs, 
toads. Let me uh, boost up our luck. Oh, let me get the Alucard sword uh, swapped out for the Alucard. There we go. It does help with swag. You're not incorrect with that. We are going to have to worry about the... Um... What was that? Was that pizza? Show me the pizza. Blue knuckle. Well, there's pizza, so now we just need to worry about frogs. So this side of the room is probably the best one to, to worry about for the frogs. You know what? This will lower my chances, but I think it's better if I just use pentagram here and then constantly reload. Because the number of frogs per second is way higher. Sorry if this is, like, annoying. I just need to see pizza. We don't even need to pick it up. We just need to see it. Now this is optimal. Our frogs per second is insane right now. There's pizza. All right, we're good. See, just like that. And now we need to kill these guys, which I believe resist ice might be their common. We're looking for fish head. Yeah, we're looking for ice brand. At max luck, it's one in 14. That's actually not bad for us. Just buy the pizza, it'd be easier. In this economy? Do you know how much it is for a pizza nowadays? Do I look like a kind of streamer that can afford a pizza? Come on now. Oh, man. Can I get the ice brand, please? Oh, man. These guys are too good. Do I have an elixir? I hope I do. Otherwise, we're in trouble. There's that life max up down there, actually. I will simply stay alive using the life max up. Is this the best way to farm these guys? I don't know. This area is kind of janky, but also I can't think of a different spot. I think it's more efficient to kill all of them. Oh, there it is. Never mind. We don't have to worry about it. There's Ice Brand. Are there any more Ice... I guess the Ice Shades have a rare drop as well that we should check out. Do the barrel 
What are they called? Is it Barrel Skeletons? Is that their name? They have a drop too, right? Skeleton Ape. TNT. Well, that's very convenient. I think it might be more efficient to kill the... Killer fish in the inverted castle, but I'm not sure about that. No, I think it's actually more efficient to do it here. Um, we're looking at uh, frozen. Frozen half. We're looking for opal circlet. Ice cream, so good. Yum, yum. Ice cream, so good. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. I thought this was Frozen Half. This is Frozen Shade. So the ice cream was actually the rare one. I'm stupid. Uh, let's go do the killer fish. I'm fairly certain we got the bat. Maybe we didn't, actually. Whatever. The bats are so easy to farm in the second castle, though, that I'm actually not worried about it. I'll grab this, because why not? Grab. Oh, this fucking guy. Killer fish, I believe, is sushi. One in 32. Yeah, I remember this farm is pretty annoying. Back to the Jolathon. Y'all remember the Jolathon? Me too. No, I'm gonna die! Get out of here, man. I'll take you to a poopy, stupid, dumb piece of shit. Please get out of here. Can you stay gone? You won't stay gone. I think I have to let him ride his boat all the way to the end if I want him to stay gone, which is really dumb. Yeah, the Aquamarine's a 20% chance to drop. Oh, I still have the duplicator on. Oops. I do not have an elixir. Why is the fish named Joel? I don't know. Why is your name uh, 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 Kyle? Ever think about that, Kyle? You know what's funny? It's probably actually faster if I heal with turkey. Much faster. Okay, uh, luck potion. Joe basted. How is that emote still around? Wasn't that a Thanksgiving emote? from last year? Come on, Twitch. Who did Jabaley pay off to keep that emote around? Aquamarine. Just give me the sushi, man. Just give me the sushi. I'm hungry.
Let me get the turkey actually and move it up to I guess here. Oh, but then it moves the other stuff down. Make oh, let me get down to just one then. That'll make life easier. Up. Okay. Now we are cooking. I don't understand the killer fish's movement is like just random, I guess. Because sometimes he's like in the way, sometimes he's not. Like sometimes he's just chilling back there. Maybe it's based off of my positioning then. So if I wing smash, sometimes I don't activate him, but if I shield dash, I do. No, it's random. Cool. Aqua Marine. Get it, Aqua Marine, because this guy's underwater. Aqua Marine actually stands for water, water in uh, Latin. Fun fact. If you would like to subscribe to more lying on the internet facts, uh, please. Uh, gift one subscription to twitch.tv slash dragon blitz bro sushi is endangered species i guess we we heard the whole loop dude we heard the whole loop of the song it's it's jover Is there anything that maybe the second castle would be slightly easier? Because I think there's two of them in the second castle. I'm fairly certain there's two of them in the second castle. G&G, <laughs> &G, Fred, appreciate you. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up and then just go to the second castle for these guys. Uh, let's go do Merman. We need Monster Vial 1 from both of them. This shouldn't be too bad. Now the question is, is it better to just full screen attack or... We considered doing... Um... Octopus second castle for sushi, but I think we ended up doing first castle dark octopus or sorry first castle um... One in 58 really okay, this is pretty rare then Oh, we ended up doing first castle because it was easier. I think that was the yellow one that gave me the monster vial. Boy, oh boy, I sure do love farming here. You know what? Tribute. This is a boy thinking for the prime. Steal men's souls and make them your slaves. I think if I kill them when they're not on screen, that's a problem, though. Oops, I just wasted them. Never mind. Well, then, now we can't because I was being stupid. No more pentagram for me. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think it's just not worth it. 
Because I can't see if they drop or not. We got a monster vial from one of them. I just don't know which one. I think it was yellow. Can someone clip it, actually, maybe? And confirm which one I got it from? Because it would save me a lot of time. Yeah, I'll grab the pentagram on the way back. If I have the clip, I should be able to figure out which one it dropped from, most likely. Because there was like a yellow and a red. Well, that was definitely yellow. So now I would really like to know if the last one was a yellow or a red, because that would save me a lot of time. Potentially. I could save split and just check the library real quick. I'm going to go do that since nobody clipped it. I think I need to farm Gurkha as well. I'm not asking for Zircon. I'm asking for Monster Vial. I'm just going to check the bestiary. Um... Uh, merman. Monster Vile. Where's the other merman? Where's the other merman? Past it? Merman? This is the one that we looked at, right? Oh, okay, we got it for both. Farewell for now. They do not count as one, no. I just don't know how to read things quickly because I have dyslexia. All right, Merman's done. Uh, I should have checked Gurkha actually while I was there. I got it, but it's difficult to see. You're like just a little too late, Triple C. Or Triple Six, sorry. Not necessarily your fault, but you know. We're past that now. Now the question is. Twenty one and twenty three. I think it might be worth using a smart potion here as well. No, we've gotten Gurkhas already, didn't we? Because Gurkhas in the second castle as well. So did we not get hammer then? I think we're missing hammer then. Because we got the ones in the second castle already. Zombie is... Cloth tunic. Yeah, my guess is we're probably going to go over 24 hours to finish this, unless we get really lucky with item drops. Uh, 
I need the cloth tunic from the zombie, please. Not the bloody zombie, the regular one, please. There it is. All right. Just in case. I plan on farming bats in the second castle. That should be everything in entrance then. So next up should be the mines. I'll grab this just in case I need it for later. No worries, Derek. Let's kill this nerd. Let's use Ice Brand, fuck it. These drop, I believe, Gold Circlet, Salem Witches. Oh, Shortcake is actually their rare. Okay. That's good to know. Whatever. And then Gremlin is... Fire Mail? Really? Okay. Let's do this. This is why getting gas cloud is good. I should get this guy too while I'm here. Uh, stopwatch good here? I don't think so, because I actually want them to be closer, I think. Get back here, you little shit. fire there it is fire mail Next up is Salem Witch. I think this might be the best spot to farm them. That or the second castle, which is technically an option. Gold circlet, not exactly what I wanted, but 
Uh, let's get demon card in here. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Hey, yo, I got an achievement for that. An achievement that I already had. That's so cool. Wowzers. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the Salem's for the Inverted Alchemy Lab. That's just like a better spot straight up. Thornweed, however. Let's see all the weeds. Thornweed is a strawberry. Well, there's our strawberry. All right, Venus. We're looking at a heart refresh. It's only one in 23, guys. Should be easy. Yeah, pacifist could never. Portal circle it. Portal circle it. Oh, it's actually only a one in fourteen. Well, there it is. The blue Venus weeds, it's a little bit harder. I don't think I'll need the Ring of Aries. But I will grab the Sire. Yo, is that fourth try? Literally had better luck in my pacifist run. LMAO. I'll kill them just in case I get lucky. Is there anything else I need to farm while I'm down here? I don't think so. I don't think I missed any enemies. Can you get out of the wall, please? We're almost done. We just need... Mines, outer wall, library, and then the last parts of tower, and then we're done. These guys I remember are whatever. I think it's pretty rare, or am I making that up? Where skeleton is a garnet at one in 23. And then how does bone arc work again? I think you just have to kill the top one. Bone arc moving is how you get skull shield, yeah. You have to specifically aim for the head. My goal is to finish today, if possible. And we're looking at a... One in 45. It's honestly kind of rough. Because I think if I try and do any other method of trying to kill this guy faster, the odds are that I'm just going to kill the other guys carrying the thing. And then I'll be screwed. No, if I try to use picture of dad, what's going to happen? I'll show you. One, my, my luck lowers a lot. 
So instead of being 159, it's a lot lower. And I think the issue is that I kill the other guys first, right? Like, it's not dropped. I mean, it dropped money that one time. It might come down to crits. Yeah, I don't think this is the, the right play. I'm not vibing with this play. I don't think it's a, a ideal. I think, yeah, increasing my individual odds per kill might just be worth it for this guy. Because he's a pain in the ass to kill no matter what. And a difference of like, what is that, 40 luck and an arcana is pretty big. Losing out on 40 luck and an, and an arcana is really big. Yeah, if it kills the walking skeletons first, then it doesn't drop anything, if I remember correctly. If I switch swords, I lose out on 30 luck, but keep the double arcana. I would need to be, like, one-shotting this guy for it to be worth it, and I don't think I have a sword that one-shots. Even, like, Holy Sword, which might be the me best damage I have, probably won't one-shot. It's a two-shot. If I do that... I was trying to do the special attack. I don't know. Maybe. Because the difference in luck is... Pretty big. It's 159 luck versus 129. It increases it to a 1 in 55 chance versus 1 in 45. I think the increased odds is just better. Strength potion would help. Why am I using Ghost Familiar? All familiars need to get to level uh, 50 by the end of this. So since I'm farming enemies anyways, I need to keep different familiars out. I already have Fairy to level 50. Probably at the very end, farming familiars, if I haven't finished it already, will be the last thing that we end up doing, to be honest. Because familiar farm, like getting familiars to level 50 requires an insane amount of individual kills. Uh, he's level 36 right now, though, so maybe not. Trying to see if this does a lot of damage. Not really. You hate the map achievement? The map achievement's one of the easier ones, to be honest. You just need to know how to get all the map tiles. There's a couple of tricky map tiles, but once you know how to get them, like, they're not bad. 
Like, I think getting all the map tiles was one of the quicker ones that we got. If you kill the skeleton guys before the, uh, this guy, it won't drop, no. That's why it's called Bone Arc Moving. At the top there. What's the hardest achievement? The one I'm doing right now. Mostly because it's, like, time intensive. If you're talking about difficulty as far as execution, it's probably... Uh, defeat the Castlevania 3 heroes as Richter without taking damage and without using sub-weapons. Yeah, Hitless Trio is probably the hardest. Like, execution-wise. Like, I don't see, like, a normal... just semi-casual player getting that down without, like, days of practice. Or getting insanely lucky. Honestly, I might just do Alucard Shield here. To increase my kill count uh, speed. That might help. Crystal Grim is not as good as you think it is, Shinta. When I already have this, that kills them in one hit. I didn't get it. Um, you know what I'll do? Let me actually do this. Also, Crystal Grim for this exact scenario would kill the other skeletons as well, making it not as easy either. These guys are immune to the stopwatch. There it is. Nice skull shield. I don't think this stuff matters now, does it? Probably a good spot to farm these guys. We have Hellfire Beast and Gravekeepers. So Gravekeeper, we're looking for not to. And then Hellfire. We're looking for Fire Mail. Okay. Um, let me, just for shits and giggles. Uh, medicine, sword. Let's do this. It's pretty slow. Yeah, pretty slow. I think we go back to uh, Alucard Shield then. Where the frick is Alucard Shield? There it is. We'll just do this because it's quick. Oh, fuck me. No, vial stacking is a bad idea. Because I don't want to have the duplicator equipped. Because it lowers my luck. If I can avoid using the duplicator, I should. 
This is probably more efficient since they have large health pools. And we need the one in 26. Nice dark metamorphosis. It should be less than one in 26 though, actually. But still, could be worse. Here's our not to, so now we just need to kill this guy. And then leave. This is the only room with the Hellfire Beast, so it's not like there's anywhere else we can farm this. What up, Def? Yes, the duplicator lowers your luck by 10 points. And on top of that, it replaces the Ring of Arcana, which also lowers your luck because the Ring of Arcana increases your luck by 10 and also um, increases rare item drops just on top of that as like a passive. So optimally, you want double Ring of Arcana at all times if you're farming rare items. No, I do not have the rare item achievement. Considering that achievement is going to be probably the longest achievement to take to get in the game. How much stuff do we need? We're about halfway done with the first castle. So we're probably like maybe like a third done. And we've been working on this for at least a few hours. From yesterday and today combined, probably like five hours. Yeah, it takes a long time. I, 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 pro I thought I was clear when we started this that this was going to be the achievement that takes the most amount of time. Because I've done this exact thing before, but on Xbox. And on Xbox, it can take up to like nine hours. In PlayStation, the load times are a lot slower. I wouldn't be surprised if this takes 10 total hours, if not, like, probably closer to 12. And this is with the la maximum possible luck. Yeah, I, I think chat is just keeps getting surprised by the same things over and over again. There's fire mail. Uh, these guys have fire brand, I believe. What was their name again? Losoth. Firebrand, 1 in 14 at max luck. Let's just do it this way, then. Uh, I wasn't going to ban you until you said that. So, um, bye? What the fuck? Cool. You could have just said like, hey, I, I, I speak Spanish or Portuguese or whatever uh, native language. I feel like that's not that I know that it has a different connotation in English, so. That's understandable, but being like, it's the wokeness. <laughs> I only ever get banned because of wokeness. It's like, okay, weirdo. I think that's it, right? No, it's Jewel Sword? Wait, their rare drop is a one in four, but their uncommon drop is a 12%? How does that work? His name is also... I mean... Like, th that is, like, the the correct word for the color black in other languages, right? So it's a little America-centric to assume that that is bad, but... But when you bring attention to it and then blame wokeness, you're just not going to fit in here, brother.
Oh, the part before also is pretty bad. Okay, never mind then. If that's the translation, then yeah, that's pretty rough. It's telling me that Jewel Sword is a 1 in 4. I think this is wrong. There's no shot this is a 1 in 4 and we haven't seen it yet. So I think the website might be wrong about this. If you don't know what's happening, I'm farming uh, items for the final achievement, basically. I have like three achievements that all require require a decent amount of farming, so I'm working on them all at the same time. Does it hide in the black hole? I don't know, man. I need the item to drop from the enemy. It's part of the achievement. I can't just get the item somewhere else. You're right, it does hide behind the black hole. So it probably has already dropped then. It's just hiding. I want to guarantee that I got it, though. That's so... That's such a weird design. Why not just make it show up on the other layer? Like, why do the items... That's so dumb. Tribute. Very you strange. Zazamel, thank you for the sub. Make them your well, I saw that money drop. It spawns inside of him and then falls, but it's hard to see. I still don't think this is a one in four, though. There it is. All right, well. I don't think I need this, but I'll grab it. Oh, wait, I already have Ice Brand. Never mind. Okie dokie. Uh, we've already done all these guys, so we're just going to kill Grand Falloon real quick. I probably had multiple Jewel Swords drop. I just didn't see them. So that's a skill issue on my end. All right. Close your eyes, everybody. This is going to be bad. Okay, you can open. Well, actually, maybe. Yeah, you can open your eyes now. It's fine. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So next up is Wear Skeleton because we never did that one. So we just need to get the Garnet, which we can do in the Spike Breaker room, I think, more easily. Then from there, we'll Library Card because I think that's everything on this side of the map. We didn't get the Warp which is kind of bad for us. So I hope that's everything otherwise. Because anything we missed is stuff that we should be able to do in the second castle. Oh, wait, the slimes have a... Do they have drops? No, they don't. Okay, good. See, I, I, I was vaguely reminding... Oh, well, I need to get them in the bestiary regardless, though. There's slime. We got the big slime and the small slime. Okay, we're good. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't forget. Easy every time. So let's go ahead and do ourselves a favor. Do this. And... Oops. Uh, 
I did not mean to sort there. That was a mistake. Okay. I'll just put this... Uh... Actually, right here is fine. He's peasy. So now we're looking for a garnet. What are the odds on that strength potion? 17%? Probably wing smashing would just be easier. You get five in a row here. Then we can wing smash up, I think, and then go here. Yeah. Well, there's the garnet. Never mind. We don't have to worry about it. Uh. I don't know if I'll need the spike breaker, but I'll grab it real quick, just in case it makes my life easier. And now we library card. So we need, in the library, we need a couple of enemies. We'll do this guy here, because I think it's like one of the easier ones. We'll do the books as well. Uh... Corpse Weed is Potion. Wait, Corpse Weed has two separate entries? I guess for this part of the Corpse Weed as well, are they separate odds? Let me go check the Beast Theory right now to see if there's a second Corpse Weed. And if it has a different drop. It probably is one of those things where they share the drop table. But I'm going to double check. No, there's only one. Unless this is the second corpse weed. Farewell for I'm, I'm looking at the drop calculator, guys. I'm not talking about... Whatever. This is the thorn... Okay. But then why does Corpse Weed have... I don't know, it's weird. I don't get it. They both say that it's a potion drop. Well, I guess because this says that it's also a thorn or corpse weed when I hit it down here. So maybe the odds are just better if I hit this guy. And that's why it's showing me the two different drop tables. Because one of them showing me a 1 in 14. The other one saying a 1 in 23.
somewhere else. I just can't remember where. Especially in a place that would be like easier to farm them. I don't think so. Bruh. Oh wow, anti-venom? You shouldn't have. There it is. Potion. And now we need flea armor. We're looking for iron curious. Maybe this guy? Does the drop count if it's not picked up? Yes. There's our Iron Curious. The game knows if the item is spawned or not. That's all that matters. Have we done Duron? How the fuck do you spell that? Is it DH? Yeah, DH. Rape here. I think we have that. I'm gonna double check real quick. Before I start farming them. We still need to do the books as well. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm interested in this. No, we do not have it. All right. Farewell for now. We get three kills here. And we're looking for... Do I have a rape here already? I do. I have six. There it is. Now time for the books. We're looking at a pentagram. Oh, 
I should do this route. So I could also farm the tomes. Because magic tome is... Saber. Okay. So we're looking for this and the pentagram. Don't tell me I wasted my luck potion. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Twenty thousand million dollars. There's no other place that this uh, enemy spawns. This enemy only spawns in this bookshelf right here. And this is the fastest way to reset the room. There are faster ways to get the normal spell books, but the magic tomes, this is the easiest. And there's spell books here. Well, there's the pentagram. So now we don't have to worry about that. It's literally just the magic tomes. That's how it is. That's how farming enemies in this game is sometimes. Is that it's just awful. We just need a saber. Was that a saber, actually? Oh, it was right there. I almost missed it. All right, cool. Not bad. Now I need uh, ectoplasms, actually. One in 32. What up, normal balls? Faster just kill this one guy than reset. No, nah, it's probably better to do all three. Wow, that's a lot of achievements. Yep. The last one that we really need is the um, all items, all rare drops. Everything else kind of is like stuff I can do once we finish that much quicker because I can hard focus on getting to level 60 as well as leveling up the familiars more directly and more efficiently once I get all the items. How long does it take to level one familiar? Uh, each enemy kill gives you one experience. Once you hit 100 experience, you level up. So you need to get to level 50. So level 50 times 100. So what is that, 5,000 kills per familiar? Did I do the math right? Oh, we're in a mana prism. Is 
This strat's pretty good. The Dark Octopi have a decent amount of health, so killing them quickly is not as easy as just reloading a room with, like, more enemies, I think. Like, maybe the Merman room is probably better, since they're infinitely respawning, and there's a lot of them. You could also just open and close like a room that has a lot of enemies immediately inside of it. That's probably better as well. You can find a... There's probably better rooms. Zombies, they take too long to spawn. They're very slow to spawn. Oh, I still had the duplicator on. That's an L on my end. And we're not even done with all of the, like, super rare uh, items in the first castle. We still have a dark shield, I think. Or skull shield, I mean. From the large skull man. That one takes a while. I think there's the skeleton flail guy as well. He takes he usually takes a while to get his drop, if I remember correctly. Oh my god, Mana Prism, where are you? Uncurse is a 22%. There it is. Okay. Mana Prism was 3%. Uh, we're done with the library. Uh, we already did the muskets. We already did the archer. We already did spear guard. We've already done Sword Lord. Oh, what about these guys, actually? Hold on. I'm going to double check and make sure I'm not forgetting anything, because I've done all these guys already. We already did Skeleton Ape, and if not, that was the rare item drop right there. That took kind of long. Yeah. that. <laughs> you guys are surprised, but getting every item in the game takes a while. Armor Lord. Have we killed Armor Lord yet and gotten its rare drop? I think we did, right? In uh, Coliseum? I'm going to assume that we did already. I'm fairly certain we did. If not, we can come back for it later. No, we have not gotten Medusa Shield yet. But we need to get Medusa Shield not once. Oh, no, no, no. That'd be too easy. We have to get it twice. Once specifically from a blue Medusa head. The other one specifically from a gold Medusa head. Because this game is fucking evil. No, it's not that rare, but... Flail Guard. Pot Roast. And then Phantom Skull is Resist Dark, which we just got. So we don't have to worry about them. And then we have Skull Lord. Which is Skull Shield 1 and 32. 
So we need a pot roast from the flail guard. Well, maybe it's actually better to get the, the flail guard over here. The one right here, because there's also the skull lord nearby. So I can just combine these two for a little while. Probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I'm going to farm the yellow Medusa heads in the inverted castle. Because it's more consistent to do it that way. I can't believe my ghost isn't attacking the other ghosts. Wow. Paros was what, one in 14? It said that Flail Guard was... Am I just getting unlucky? Yeah, 1 in 14. Getting a little unlucky, I guess. I mean, it is only 7%, but still. Like, Skull Lord, I imagine the Skull Shield is going to take a while. Like, that's to be expected. It's like a 3%. And every time I've ever done a all item drop run, Skull Lord always takes the longest. There's Pot Roast. Right, we can now start focusing in on the better spawn for this guy. Which is this one. Sorry, my back was bothering me. Welcome, Medievalin. The Skull Lord death animation is so funny. It's one of my favorites. What up, Swarm? He's actually going bruh. He's probably trying to talk to the, the ghost familiar that I have out. He's like, bro, you're just gonna let this guy do that to me? What the fuck, man? He is pogging. Oh, there it is. I mean, I actually don't need to grab it, so whatever. All right. There's that taken care of. Uh, what's left? Do I use this? I mean, I get. I have to get the harpies, I guess. I think after we get the... Because I'm not going to do Medusa heads here because it's half blue, uh, half yellow. I want to find a place that's all yellow Medusa heads and all blue when I start actually farming them. The harpy is... The golden apple. Hmm. 
Yeah, Life Apple 1 in 32. So it's not necessarily very common. Is that the best spot? This room has two that are kind of close. I don't know. We haven't done Medusa heads, no. Oh, well, we just got the gold uh, life apple. Easy peasy. Can I get a Medusa shield f for the fans? I think that's first castle done because we're not going to do spectral sword until second castle. I think that's first castle done. And if I'm wrong, it's fine. We could always come back. We have all the familiars. Ghost is level 42. Last stream, we ended on killing these guys and getting their drops. So now it's second castle time. We have to do Yorick. Uh, Spike Ball doesn't show up in the bestiary, so I don't think we need it. If Spike Ball is necessary, we'll find out later. Because the achievement specifically says reveal the rare drops in the bestiary. It says use bestiary to keep track. So it would be kind of unfair for one of the Ida, uh, enemies to not exist in the bestiary. I've already done Flea Riders. Wait, do I have holy glasses or no? I do not. No. Well, we got to get out of here then. Lamau. We did already add Richter to the bestiary. I like triple checked to do that. Uh, we'll just skip him then. Yeah, just checking in on our old friend Richter, seeing how he's doing. You're excited for the race? The race should be fun. I'm excited as well. Speaking of, let me actually move some stuff around real quick. Yeah. Swarm versus Hornet is gonna be a good one. I believe we're doing two races for them today, which should be fun. Let's just warp there. I could do three, but I decay about Hornet. All right. If we have to do three, then we'll do three. Uh, if you guys are both down, we'll, we'll see. We'll talk about it uh, once the race gets started, which should be happening in about an hour and a half. I almost did it again. Come on. There we go. So we have second castle, so... Does Yorick show up? It's apparently telling me it's a 1 in 8 chance to get the Skull Shield from Yorick, so maybe it's not a big deal, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't show up in the bestiary. But regardless, I think I'll get it anyways, just because it's already a low enough chance. Oh, it's Skull. Turquoise, which is also a one and eight. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but we'll try it. I'm fairly certain we don't actually need this then, because Skull doesn't show up in the bestiary.
Iron ball. Regardless, we got it. Am I going to have a small break? We're going to run ads, yeah, before the, the race starts. So that way ads don't play during the race. So you'll have like three minutes. Uh, we need to do the bosses. Yeah. Go to Matthias. I'll just kill with Malblong, whatever. Oh, actually, I should go back and do the to uh, blah, 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 tombstones. I have I have loud. Yeah, okay, good. So tombstones, it's green tea. Let's go do that real quick before we commit to doing the, the clock tower, because the clock tower is going to take a while. And let's save, because we haven't saved in a little while. We should hopefully get, like, halfway through the second castle here. And then after that, hopefully, depending on the races and how long they take, we might be able to finish up after that. My goal is to try and finish tonight if I can, because I don't want to drag this out longer than necessary. Is that green tea? I think that was green tea. I'm like 90% sure. No, it was a katana. The katana's at the bottom. Well, that's why I said 90. You enjoy the game casually? There's green team. All right. Well, I just want to finish this because I have to start practicing for speedrun Coliseum. So, and I don't want to start practicing for speedrun Coliseum before finishing this because we're so close to being done. And then when I get back from speedrun Coliseum, my goal is to try and get a video done. Oh, dynamite. Perfect. No, wait. That was TNT, not dynamite. According to ACDC, they are the same thing. However, in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, they are not. What category am I speedrunning at Coliseum? It's a uh, donation drive between, I believe, Pacifist and Reverse Boss Order. So I need to practice both of them. Pacifist should not be difficult to, like, be good enough to do in a, a marathon setting. But reverse boss order is going to be a lot harder. Flamberge. Uh, we got, what is it? Floating. What is her name? The fuck is your name? Cloaked Knight. Heaven Sword, baby. One in 81, baby. Let's go. This is the real farm. This is that real shit. Y'all don't know about that fake shit. Uh, no, I have not done RBO in a marathon setting. There was another donation drive for last speedrun Coliseum for RBO uh, versus Randomizer and Randomizer 1. Last time I played RBO was for the um, speedrun bounty. And there's a non-zero chance that RBO gets rerouted as well because of a potential for a better uh, death skip too. 
Because right now, the way that we skip death, uh, there might be a way to do the, the edge grab, screen grab, tech, glitch, to skip death a little bit faster than the library card version that we're using right now. It helps with regular drops, right? Arcana increases the odds of getting a drop separately from your luck stat. So I have the drop calculator on the screen right now. It might be a little small, but here, I'll just like zoom in to show you. So right now, Cloaked Knight, I have a 1.23% uh, chance with two Arcanas. If I lower the number of Arcanas, it changes the percentage chance. That's basically it. They also do increase your luck by 10, if I remember correctly. So essentially the idea is the best equipment you can have is always double Arcana when farming in this game. That is always the best option. Higher luck does not give you more critical hits. It increases the damage your critical hits do. But your critical hit rate is based off of the weapon you're using. The yellow cart gear gives plus 30 as well. I'm giving myself plus 20 from the uh, luck potion. And then I have a plus 10 bonus from the um, eye of Vlad as well. This is the max luck setup for every item in the game. Oh, well, there it was. Well, we don't need it, but we got the item to drop. All right, moving on. But streamer, you need two heaven swords or else you're gonna shit your pants and explode and die. True. All right, time for the next rare item farm. That's right, Medusa shield, which is the same exact drop rate. Medusa shield, one in 81. Damn it. Resist stone, however, much more common. This is another spot where power of uh, mist can be useful. Especially if you want to AFK this. You can just set up Power of Mist at, like, the middle of the screen and then, go like, go use the bathroom. I might actually end up doing that. Oh, never mind. We don't need to. All right. We'll worry about the blue Medusa heads later. We've already done the Valhalla Knights that are below us. So that's everything in the clock tower. Yeah, that's everything in the clock tower. So now we have Jacko Bones. They drop Flame Stars and Shurikens. Okay. Yeah, that was actually really lucky for two of the rarest drops. We got them relatively quickly. We still have another Medusa shield that we have to worry about, and we have the library um, enemies that all have r pretty rare drops. The Muramasa, the Fist of Tulkus, the Chrysogrim. Um, what's the other one? Tin Man also has like a somewhat rare drop, but I think it's not as bad. It's probably a better spot to farm the Jacko Bones than here, right? It's Mojo Mail? Why the fuck are they drop in Mojo Mail? I don't think I fought Creature yet, so I'm gonna go do that and get the plus 10 strength. Which honestly could have helped me for a lot of the, the farming. I should have done this earlier. Jacko Bones near Doppelganger. 
Yeah, there's the two of them there. That one might be better, you're right. Shadow Lancer. Thankfully, the color doesn't matter for the Jacko Bones. Is that three hits? That might have been some crits, though. It's four. Okay. That's fine. Gauntlet. Tolkis is a 1 in 17. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I thought it was way worse than that. I mean, it's better to just reload this room over and over again. Fuck you, Shmoo. Yummy ramen. Doo -doo 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 -doo. At least the music's good here. We got a little over an hour left. Another gauntlet. Yo, Chrysogram, nice. Now I don't have to worry about killing that guy at all. Finally, a real gamer who goes after the Chrysogram in their casual playthrough of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. No one ever does that. I've never seen anyone find this secret sword. It's called the Chrysogram. Have you heard of it, streamer? It's really good. Maybe I should also use a strength potion. Maybe I should use an int potion and just wing smash. Let's see if the wing smash strat works. Kind of. It's not ideal. Yeah, I don't think this is that good. So use the strike potion instead. I mean, it's basically the same number of swings, though. Ghost is level 48, so we're gonna have to switch off the ghost soon. Oh, there's the Tolkis. Okay. Scarecrow is next. Oh, this room would have been better because you get all three of them, but your boy is uh, not very smart. Scarecrow, we're looking for. 
Muramasa, 1 in 40. Yeesh. Is that the only way to get the Tolkis? I believe so, yes. That wasn't a second Chrysogram, was it? If so, very funny. No, it was not. Uh, I should soul steal. Nice soul steal nerd. Fine, I'll just be a baby and eat some uh, sirloin. I said it was Mojo Mail from Tin Man. Definitely not Lunch A because we've gotten too many of those. Oh, is that a second chrysogram? Fuck. Now we're gaming. Can I get some hell yeahs in the chat, please? Actually, heck yeah, please. Uh, my mom said I need to stop swearing. Thank you, guys. Oh, triple chrysogram. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. Can I get a let's fucking go in the chat, please? My mom would understand. It's a, it's triple chrysogram, okay? Why not equip chrysogram? Because it's bad. And lowers my luck. Actually, this is a playthrough that's only about uh, being skillful. So, I mean, chrysogram is uh, cheating. Everybody knows that. Tin Man just dies in two hits regardless. Okay. Oh no, that was just me getting lucky with crits. Okay, got it. Understood. Can we just not die, please? I have enough MP for a Soul Steel. Can I just do the Soul Steel, please? How's the Tin Man? One in 23 for Mojo Mail, okay.
Oh, Ghost is level 55. We've, we've been over-leveling him. Uh, we'll do Bat Card next. He is the cutest after all. That card was always my favorite growing up. What does the bat do? He's just a homie. I'm getting shot. There's Mojo Mail. So now we just have to worry about the Scarecrow, which actually I think could be easy to farm on its own. Is there a better spot with Scarecrows? I think there might be. No, my magic! One in forty. The fairy uh, is is helpful. I'm starting to think that this is the wrong room. Actually, I think the other room I was in was better. I think I'm gonna go for a like room clear strat or like a. Probably Alucard Shield strat actually is probably the best. Let's do that. Room with the Lion is better at the beginning. For farming the Scarecrow? The room that doesn't have a Scarecrow in it? Unless you mean the other room that has the line instead of the Tin Man. It has two Scarecrows? Wow, this one has two Scarecrows too. That's crazy, man. That's wild. Maybe you should uh, consider uh, not. All right, this is not working as well as I thought it would. I think we're gonna have to do Power of Sire strats then. This is very annoying, I apologize, but this is probably the best we can do. I don't need to grab the Murmoss, I just need it to spawn. Oh, there it was. Perfect. Yeah, when in doubt, just uh, go faster. Nice. All right. Well, then in that case, we're done in this area. You can open your eyes now.
Yeah, I really have to just remember that killing things quickly sometimes is just better than, like, maxing out your odds of getting the individual drop. Especially if you're able to reset the room very quickly. Um, so next up is Jacko Bones, I guess? If it happens. Okay, it didn't happen. Um, we can do the Skeleton uh, Laser Guys. Get the Terminus S. There's one that's really quick and easy to kill right here. Is this worth it? No, I'll kill the other one. The other one that's like closer to the load zone. Yeah, I'll do that. Probably better. Um, it's a beam skeleton. What are they called in this game? Nova skeletons. Yeah. Five percent. That's not bad. Uh, well, there's Jacko Bones, right? It was a flame star. Yeah, okay, so that's done. We just need the Nova Skeletons, which I think we could just wing smash back and forth for. Where's my luck potion? Don't tell me. Don't tell me I wasted it. Oh, no, it's right here. You steal men's what up, souls Expo? and make them your slaves. The run is going. Monster Vile 3 has a, or Monster Vile, yeah, Monster Vile 3 with a 33.23% chance to drop. It's very funny. We're going to have so many Monster Vials. Oh, well, never mind. There's the Terminus. Uh, okay, nice. Time for the Inverted Caverns. We're making decent pace. We still have a little under an hour left before the tournament match. We might be able to get like halfway through the second castle if we get lucky. And then we can finish up the rest of it after the tournament race. If the tournament doesn't end too late. So things are looking good for us gamers. So we have to do blue Venus weed, cave troll. We're doing killer fish while we're down here. You already did, oh, this is rock night, not bomb night. So we gotta do that. We have to do doppelganger as well. Let's go kill this guy real quick. Uh, Let's kill him the funny way. It's Swarm versus Hornet today. Swarm versus Hornet. That was a old achievement that I already got. By the way, it wasn't a new achievement. I'm going to make sure to put their names in the title once the uh, tournament match starts. It's just that the tournament... Um, the, the title was a little difficult to fit everything. Okay. Oh, we need to do Dark Octopus as well. 
Might as well do that now. Green tea, one in twelve. Should be incredibly easy. There it is. Easy peasy. Let's get out of here. Next up is Blue Venus Weed. And it's a 1 in 23. Or it's just a one in one. It just happens every time. Just simply get the kill first try. Don't tell me. And Noglamir is also first try. Simply just get all the item drops you need first try, and you get a speedrun world record. Uh, so we have Rock Knight next. We already did the Jacko Bones. How is Rock Knight? One in 14 platinum mail. These guys have an exploit where if you hit the rock that they're holding, it kills them instantly. So it should be very easy to farm these guys. In fact, Probably, oh, there it is. Platinum mail. Easy peasy. Um, is there anybody else? I guess the killer fish. We should go do that now. Before I forget. I'll grab this as well. Just hunting for rare drops. That's pretty much the last achievement we need, yeah. We're missing all enemies in the bestiary and all uh, rare drops, both of which are the same achievement, basically, for us. And then the other achievements are all familiars to level 50, which we're doing along the way. Get to level 60, which we're doing along the way. Oh, we can go grab the money bag right now, actually. We should go do that, yeah. Noglamir, you love to see it. Oh, there it is. There's the achievement. Woo, we're at 101. Easy peasy. Let's go. Five achievements left. One of them is Rune Sword, which we're actually going to probably get soon as well. Yo, wait, is that Alucard shield? Oh my God. I'm gonna shit and poop myself. Where's Alucard? There it is. Wait, sushi, first try? Oh my God, the reverse caverns has treated me so well. We, like, first tried, like, half the enemies here. This is insane. Wow. Uh, let me go grab the warp and then come back and do the... M well, we have the warp actually into the mines, so we'll, we'll use this warp to get to the mines, and then we'll warp back here when we're done with the mines. I think that's the correct play. Yeah, I think that's the correct play. I did not get the rune sword. Unfortunate. We'll get him next time. 
Sorry if you're seeing ads, by the way. Ads are, you know, a thing that happens automatically. You could sub if you don't want to see the ads. It's possible. That is a thing you can do. We're going to do the dodos later. I want to finish up the mines and the catacombs first. Mainly because the mines have um, the best spot to farm bats, which is down here. And we still need the the bat um, drop. Which is monster vial, which is a 1 in 35. Come on. No, it's actually better to farm them in the actual... Yeah. Slogger and Gaibon don't have drops. We'll farm them in the uh, catacombs itself, since it's right next to a screen transition. So we need to do the witch. Which does require that we uh, get the cat, I'm pretty sure. What are they called in this game? It's not Salem Witch. Which one is this? It's just Salem. Oh yeah. Shalom. Mana Prism, okay. I think you have to kill them with spells. What's the best way to do this? Hmm. Oh, you don't actually have to kill the cats. Oh well. Now this is a, a good spot to farm. We're looking for Monster Vile. There it is. Easy peasy. Uh, who else is here? Frozen Half? Is that the last Opal Circlet? That's like the last enemy that we're worried about, right? Are they close? No. I was hoping that they'd be closer to the load zone there. Plus they lag the game every time. Which is great for us. Yeah, we could farm the blood skeletons. You're so smart. It's a good one. If I'm gonna travel through a room, maybe I should do the one with the two in it. Or does this just have one? Isn't there a room that has two? Yeah, I've already beaten Galmoth. Yeah, this room just has one. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oogie. 
So I believe that's everything. In the catacombs. We got about 40 minutes left. We should be able to get Rune Sword in that amount of time. Ghost Familiar is level 13, or sorry, uh, Bat Familiar is level 13. Now card is level 55. We haven't leveled up in fucking forever. We hit level 55 and then just stopped leveling up. I haven't seen a level up in probably like a solid six hours of gameplay. So, Rune Sword. 32%. Or 32. 1 in 32. 3.12%. It's not bad. Level 60 is the, the, the level cap for uh, the achievements in this game, which is for the best. Farming to level 99 takes like multiple real life days of nonstop grinding to do. So that would be a little um, stupid if that was an achievement. Because then it, it's just like artificially wasting people's times. Dragon Riders, they drop stuff, right? No, they do not. Okay. Cool. Uh, just double checking. Oh. That was easy. And another achievement unlocked, baby. Hold, hold. Easy. Easy peasy. Boom. 102. Four achievements left. And it, they're all the grind ones. Level 60, familiars. All enemies, all enemy drops. I think full fire wargs. They have karma coin. Okay, let's go get the karma coin drop then. And Dragon Rider, just double checking. Yeah. Uh, hello? Oh, the Ouroboros. That's the one that has the drop then. Lapis. Got it. I was curious about that. I knew one of them had a drop, but they're very identical. They look basically the same. Where's my... Turkey. Okay, let's luck potion up. Let's mana prism. Alucard. There we go. Damn. These fireworks got a decent amount of HP. Turquoise. I didn't know the Ouroboros could spawn pillars of fire. I've literally never... Oh, no, that's the fireward. I've never seen that before. Oh, my God. 
There's the Karma Coin. Wait, Ouroboros dropped the Karma Coin? Is that their common? It is. Why is it Karma Coin, by the way? This actually might just be an Alucard shield moment. Because this room is just fucking nonsense. And I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't care if it lags. Yeah, I'm using Alucard Shield. This room is too much chaos. Can I stop getting the turquoise, please? Why is the Ouroboros so hard to kill? These guys suck. Rune Sword was easier than this. Yeah, all that good luck I had in the reverse caverns has ran out. Oh, that actually helps. Actually, not that much. It's another turquoise. That needs to be a karma coin. Lap is really a 1 in 23. I guess it just takes a while to kill them, so it feels worse. There's only two in this room. I guess it is worse than a 1 in 23 because I am uh, lowering my luck a decent amount, but still. Bad as level 22. Okay. 
I feel like I'm getting insanely unlucky. I think it's just random whether they follow you or not, and I think you do need to kill them in one hit. I could be wrong about that, though. to specifically aim for the flame man. Uh, I guess maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Karma coin. Okay, now we're down to just the fucking Ouroboros. Which I think farming the one from the left side is easier than doing this whole room. We got a small following of bat bros. You love to see it. Karma coin. So with my current stats, it's actually a 1 in uh, 27 versus a 1 in 23. If I buff my luck up a little bit more, I think I'm going to do that. Because this is getting kind of ridiculous. do it. I have to aim lower on that wing smash if I'm going to do it. This isn't that great. No, we're doing the shield. God damn it. This guy's so fucking annoying to kill, man. I would like to finish this guy before the end, if possible. We're gonna have to start setting up for the tournament soon. Well, I'll finish you, guy.
And by finish, I mean ban. Because you're finished. This is a joke. Don't actually ban them. Achievements? Yes. This is the one we're working on right now. Uh, gotta get all the rare item drops in the game. I would rather if you had better questions to ask in chat. That's what I would rather. Another karma coin. Come on, man. Exclamation mark achievements will take you to the website. It'll take you to my profile on the website, but it'll still take you to the website. Who's my favorite chatter? Everyone who lurks, they're my favorite chatter. All the people that don't say anything. Because <laughs> they're the real backbone of this channel, let's be honest. I'd be nothing without my lurkers. Are the vibes off? I'm just getting really unlucky and it's frustrating. This is probably the unluckiest grind we've had so far. To be fair, it is a it's a rare-ish drop, but I don't know, compared to getting the Medusa shield in like a couple of minutes or like the Heaven Sword in a couple of minutes, this is pretty bad. This is the worst kind of achievement? Yep. I have a few complaints about the, the retro achievements in general. Mostly the balance of them is a little off, and then some of them are a little tedious. I understand why this is in the game, though. This is, in and of itself, like, kind of a thing that you can ask yourself, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I got every uh, item in the game or something like that? But also, at the same time, it's like... Once you actually answer that question, you realize, oh no, that wouldn't be cool. It's actually really annoying to do because the developers of this game were smoking giant weed penises full of crack cocaine with some of these drop uh, percentages. Saying blasphemous and respecting the player's time in the same sentence uh, is confusing to me, but I'm of the opinion that Blasphemous is a game that doesn't respect the player's time in general. Whether or not the achievements do is, I guess, a different question. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. Given the chance, would I like to design a Metroidvania? No. That sounds like a lot of work for the type of thing that I am not currently interested in. I respect anybody that has like game design as a passion of theirs, but that's not me. I think I'm a little too jaded. So many karma coins, so little lapis. I'm starting to wonder if a lapis has already dropped and I just didn't notice it because this room also just sucks. And this is the only room with the Ouroboros in the entire game. Yeah, I think I would end up being a decent play tester for certain things, but finding a play tester for a game and then like, I don't know. I don't think it would be worth my time to play test a game. Not to be uh, that guy, but like... Oh no, don't tell me I wasted my mana pro or my luck potion. If I lose my luck potion here, I'm kind of fucked. 
And that means I, I should just go... Did I waste it? No, it's at the top, thank God. But not to be that guy that's like, oh, my, my time is worth so much. But also, it's like, I have a respect for my time, and I know that, like, playtesting is not a, a job that gets paid well for the amount of expertise you need. I think it's obvious that, like, it's a type of job that I could probably figure out and be good at, but it's not my passion, so why would I do that to myself? <sighs> ironic, I say my time is worth so much, meanwhile I'm doing this shit. Anyone else find that ironic? There's just no way we haven't gotten the drop once this whole time. Like, the odds aren't... They're low, but they're not that low. We've killed this guy at least a couple hundred times. At least 12,000 times, right, guys? You've been counting? This is kill uh, 69 million. Fuck. Not in my inventory. Wait. <gasps> the lapis! It's already in my inventory! That's cr Wait, guys, we don't need to farm! <laughs> we already got it! That's crazy, wow. Surely that's, that's the lapis we're talking about, right? Surely? GG's. Wow, it was that easy. Karma co- oh. The karma is real. This is my karma. Stuck playing this game, farming shitty enemies for all time. This is what I get. The universe decided that this is my punishment. Oh, I need the other... Yep. No, I'm not going to do any gambas because that would take time. And I'm already wasting my time because this stupid shit item hasn't dropped yet. And I just want this to be over with. Can you... Thank you. This is why it's the Ouroboros, because this... It's never-ending. You're stuck here forever. Are we sure it's this guy that drops it and not the other guy? Somehow, please. Maybe the website's wrong. Can someone confirm that it's this enemy for me that drops the item? Can you just, like, look up a YouTube video of where to find uh, Lapis Lazuli in Soten or something? I would do it myself, but I'm already committed to being stupid. So it would be nice if someone else could do it for me. Because I have a vague... The only reason I'm even bringing it up is because I have a vague memory of getting it from the other guy. In the room with the um, rune sword. It is from the Ouroboros here. Man. 
Well, then I'm just getting fucking owned. I know the other guy is the Dragon Rider. I was wondering if the website was wrong. Because I have a vivid memory of doing it from the Dragon Rider, but I guess it makes sense that I would get them confused because they're basically the same exact enemy. It's over. It's finally over. I'm free. I'm free. Man, fuck that. Uh, next up is... I guess these guys. We got Cthulhu. C Cthulhu is Bat Pentagram. We have Lesser Demon. Halbing Dagger. Pop. We also have the flame demon that I believe it's Marcel. Yeah, we're looking for Marcel, Halbing Dagger, and maybe a Bat Pentagram if we're lucky. Because there's other spots to farm Cthulhu, so I'm not worried about it. Yo, is that obsidian sword? That's crazy. We need to farm the Salem as well. Where'd that fucking other lesser demon come from? Holy shit. He just hopped in that little hole. The fuck? Alright. Honestly, I think I'm gonna double Chrysogrim here, because it doesn't cost magic. It does lower my things a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. So we're looking for Marcel, we're looking for Halbing Dagger. Honestly, I don't even need the double Chrysogram. I can uh, put a shield here. Yeah, Flaming Demon has uh, good drops. Most people just never kill the Flame Demon because he only exists in like this small area. And who comes all the way back here in like a normal playthrough? I mean, some people do, I guess. There are people that explore everything. There's Marcel, so now we can focus on the lesser demons. Oops. That was the wrong item. Thank you for the 10 minute warning. 
We'll farm up here then. Because it's Lesser Demon and Cthulhu. Are they over here too? Oh, this is better. Or it would be if I wasn't bad. I should just focus the uh, lesser demons, I think. But resetting this room is so annoying. Mm. Yeah, the bat's probably level 30. 33. Oh, I have that second duplicator. Or, or the duplicator on. I'm stupid. Well, I guess I'll use it now, because I need a luck potion again. Fuck me. Tribute? There we go. You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Uh thank you, Sopfo. Sopfo Quail. Thank you for the freaking all bean dagger. Let's go. Alright. Now we're big chilling. So bitterflies are mystic pendant. Grab the luck potion just in case. Mystic pendant. So Salem Witch is our next one. I think we already got the... Well, we did, just got the Kingstone just then, so we don't have to worry about those guys. Is this the better, best spot to farm them? Probably. There it is. Gold circlet. Right? That was, uh... Oh, no, it's mana prism that we're looking for. Uh... No, it's shortcake that we're looking for. I'm stupid. Looking for shortcake. Farm them in caverns for a different um, achievement because I wanted the gold. Uh, I needed the gold circlet. I thought I needed the gold circlet for a um, achievement, but I ended up not needing it. Oh God damn it! Short. Cake. I'd like to get this drop and then after we get this drop, we'll, um, We'll call it, and then we'll start setting it up. Unless I get really unlucky.
Well, the thing is, the pentagram has to kill in one hit. And I don't think it will. And if she gets sent off screen, then it'll stop hurting. I could try bat pentagram. Yeah, it doesn't one shot. So I don't think it's a good idea. To be honest. So I'm going to lower my luck even more by removing one of my Arcanas. It needs to be, like, really worth it. Like, it needs to be super fast. And Power of Sire is slow. Because the first hit doesn't uh, do a lot of damage, necessarily. Five minutes. Five minutes to get a shortcake. Come on. Jesus Christ, man. It's not actually 1 in 20. It's a little bit um, lower than that. It's actually 1 in 24 pushes glasses up. So, I mean, you know. It's like a 4% chance. Yeah, that is true. The circlet's a 6% versus the 4%, and we've seen so many circlets. That is a, a true observation. We've seen like 10 of them. Are you guys talking about Blasphemous? I've said it before. I think Blasphemous is a good game. I just don't think it's a good Metroidvania. If you're a really big fan of, like, Souls likes, I think Blasphemous is there for you. Like, 2D Dark Souls type games. But I don't think it's a good Metroidvania. But people keep asking me my opinion on it because I play Metroidvanias and specifically Symphony of the Night, when I feel like their design philosophies are so insanely different from each other. They just both have really good pixel art. That's like the only thing that's like similar about them, I guess. Bro, no fucking way I don't get one. Come on. I've already played the Dead Cells DLC. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on uh, Dragon Bloods Daily. It was fun. At least there's a save right here. I'm going to give it three more tries. There it is. All right. Just in time. Oh, now another. Fuck you, game. Wow. Okay. I hate this fucking game, dude. What was the point if you're just going to give it? 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got to set up the tournament match. So we'll finish this in a little bit.